let's start speaking about law of total probability so law of total probability is what we have to know so we are going to say let a be an event which can occur in n different ways so we will be adopting a tree diagram in order to solve that question related to law of total probability so s be the sample space e1 e2 up till en be the exhaustive events or mutually exclusive events now then if we are talking about a now a is there which has the probability which can be computed in this manner so this formula if you don't remember you can remember the tree diagram so if i say that there is a that i have to actually achieve so a is possible by computing in say n different ways so what happens is like this is e1 this is e2 this is e3 and so on up till en now all these do actually lead to this a but first e1 then it is followed by probability of a over e1 so we are going to compute probability of a when e1 has actually occurred similarly probability of e2 here you will say probability of a when e2 has already occurred and similarly from here you will say when e3 has already occurred and so on up till the case that we reach probability of a you have to compute when en has already occurred now these all are the different different ways wherein we can compute the probability of a so the probability of a can be computed as probability of e1 multiply probability of a with respect to e1 and so on up till probability of en with respect to probability of en multiplied by probability of a with respect to n so if this is still not clear we'll be seeing the questions based on it and definitely this will be all clear